Welcome back to my channel. If you guys don't know me, my name is David Bocek. I'm a paleoherpetologist or herpetologist. I'm focusing on psychology and behavior on specific exotic animals. At the moment, since three years and almost four years, I'm working with a specific uh, turtle called the Motomoto turtle. And my Motomoto turtle, as you guys can see on the name as well, uh, the channel exploring with jumanji yes exactly so what about jumanji jumanji still alive she's she's growing um she's spending my money quite a lot um uh, monthly so so recently i'm not eating a lot but but yeah i i managed to lose some weight because of her so it's thanks to her <clears throat> but no 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 it's all fine it's all good she's happy and i'm making her happy i i hope well yeah mostly she just coming out looking at me and like where is my food and like pff, she just going back like <laughs> what am i thinking so that's what's happening with jumanji um the reason i didn't post any uh, pictures or any videos because and i'm gonna give you a quick explanation <clears throat> around nine months ago uh, somebody texts me on uh, social media that he likes to he likes to speak with me to talk with me about my research and about the stuff that I do and uh, that conversation went very well and I found out that the person Tyler his name is Tyler he has a 20 acre flat field in Sunset Ranch in Texas here it's around 87 miles away from El Paso um so woo -woo, a puzzle. Um, and he wants to build a um, herpetological sanctuary over there and he's looking for a researcher a herpetologist who would be a director of the research facility and the research department and uh, after lots of conversations uh, i decided to take his offer and <laughs> that's what that's what's happening so yeah i'm moving to texas and uh it's very exciting and in the meantime in the eight or nine months till now what happened is that that we were talking a lot because okay we so we're going to build up uh, a sanctuary but what kind of services we're going to give and why we will be a different sanctuary than other sanctuaries and obviously we're going to do youtube channel for it and youtube videos and etc so the whole thing you guys are going to see a whole thing is live stream and the thing is that we managed to create so many different methods uh, which we can use to help not just animals but people as well and i cannot really talk about it right now but later on uh in my future videos i'm going to tell you guys in details like what's going on and what we do and what we're going to do over there is going to be amazing because we're not just going to educate people about exotic animals but uh, in a rehabilitation center on that department we're going to take in neglected or injured animals and we're going to uh, make sure that we can take back take them back to the uh, to their uh, natural habitat um, obviously we're going to work uh, with the government as well about uh, non-native non animals control so that's uh, these are just small little small little things that part of the of the services we're going to provide uh, but the best things I don't want to tell you guys just yet so today why I'm here because I want to show you guys our first promotional video for our sunset ranch herpetological uh, research and rehabilitation center 
which I'm already very proud of and and I'm so so happy that I can share it with you guys so have a look uh, there's gonna be a GoFundMe page link over there so please click on that go there have a look and if you guys think that you guys want to uh, donate a couple of bucks or a chicken or a dog uh, that would be amazing because obviously we going to be relying on supporters as we're going to be a non-profit business so guys i hope you guys are going to like it and please just leave some comments down below under the video and before i leave i want to say thank you so much for all the comments and and all the all the all the wishes that you guys sent me in the nine month um because it was very heartwarming when i saw it like david where is that video when you're going to make that video when you're going to post the next video etc etc it was amazing because it means that that some some people really appreciate my job and and what i do with motomoto -Moto turtles and it feels good so thank you so much guys and thank you so much for all the people from around the world who connected contacted with me uh, asking about uh, certain information about Matamata Turtles and I hope I manage to help you guys uh, every single time when I have a when I have a new client who's got Matamata Turtle I try I do my best I do my best and sometimes I if I don't know something I'm I'm doing a research about it for three nights and I'm not gonna sleep till I don't find the, re uh, the answer or the reason. So guys, I'm gonna stop talking. Thank you so much again for being here. Please check out the promo video. And after, if you guys want to know more about this project, more about this uh, uh, research and rehabilitation center, go to our GoFund, uh, GoFund page and gives us a thumbs up, gives us some love, a chicken, a dog, or just donate a couple of bucks. Thank you guys. <laughs> love you guys. See you in the next video next Friday. Bye. <coughs>I'm an independent polar herpetologist researcher specialized for examining exotic animals' psychology and behavior. The Sierra Herpetological Sanctuary will be built 87 miles away from El Paso, Texas, on a 20 hectare flat field in a place called Sunset Ranch at Sierra Blanca. With the sanctuary, our goal is not only aiming to educate our community of our exotic animals but also to build a home for unwanted or injured animals with the help of our rehabilitation center at the sanctuary. We aim to provide summer camps, internships and private tours for our community where people can learn about these animals and get involved in their rehabilitation or their daily care. The animals in the sanctuary will come from donations or picking up neglected animals or from injury. The main areas we want to focus on is to continue our psychology and behavioral research and to publish newly found scientific information about these animals. Help the public and the exotic animal enthusiast community with the right knowledge how to keep these animals working close with the government to create new regulations regarding husbandry and non-native reptile control. Education and rehabilitation and working with other sanctuaries, veterinarian centers to build a strong group of services for these animals and for the public. So what are we aiming to do is really rewarding in many ways, however, it is very expensive because there is no income that we thrive as a sanctuary. 100% of the donation will go to directly to the animals. We're not going to pay salary or wages or administration. 100% of the donation will go to purchase food, veterinarian bills, medicine. So pretty much we're relying 
of the donation of the supporters. Us from the supporters, we not asking for a lot. But if anyone can give a little every month, that adds up and we can keep continue to help and do more and more for these animals in the future. Ideally, the future for us would be to expand our research facility and rehabilitation center where we would continue to find out more about these animals and help science and our community with knowledge and with the opportunity for the public to get involved.